Hey YouTube, Kira Qualia here, bringing you all another Cardfight Vanguard Clash of the Heroes booster pack opening. These are the final sneak preview packs I was able to pick up this weekend. Figured just the easiest way to differentiate with my videos. I had the one in the original packaging, the other one with all the packs lined up, and then I just have all of these packs thrown out along my playmat, just as a different way for me to keep track of all the openings as well. But most of you have seen all of the introduction spiel before so let's just jump right into the opening and see what i get we're starting off with a lady fencer of bipolar nebula but do also look forward to my box opening i'm definitely curious to see what i get from my boxes of this set as well with all the new promos i believe we'll be getting with those boxes also we have a beat up draco kid which i believe the uh, serious fight is another blitz order if i remember correctly in this set it's very weird how they're trying to push blitz orders in these packs but i'm not complaining and oh nice is this this is a double frame rare blonde ezel right from the start too very cool that looks awesome i think this might be the deciding factor of what one you know which deck i build that looks so cool it's interesting how they kept the encounter border at the bottom but that looks really really nice that is awesome very very cool all right so we started off strong and pulled a double frame rare for what i think was the third pack no complaints though blonde ezel is an awesome double frame rare to pull we have a demonic lordling batham also that was great there's no beating a double frame rare how many there are 15 types i'm guessing for each triple rare there was a double frame rare to pull and here's a frame rare of Mythiarc Miomilum, which is a double rare. So pretty good frame rare when you get a double rare frame rare, but uh, just a frame rare. Did I say double frame rare? But nothing beats double frame rare blonde Ezel. That is awesome. And we have a Will-O-Wisp Daybreak Tamayura for our triple rare from this. Nice. And let's see what else we can get. We have a Retrospective Dragon, double rare. And we have a Greedon Masks for our triple. We're getting a lot of triple rares too all of a sudden, but no complaints. I just grab a random pack so there's really no order to any of these either. I'm just trying to see if I can see my playmat. That's how I know I've reached the end of the video and hopefully with all the wrap packages i have i don't accidentally throw away any of them we have an emanating monster resolect resolect that's how you pronounce it nice touch putting the dragon tree markers as i said before also in this pack just because for all the different mask decks we have, Greedon including. So let's say you just wanted to build Greedon as your only mask and you only bought this set up till now, you would still need some Dragon Tree markers. So I guess that's why they decided to put them in this pack. We have Gigant, uh, Gigant Arms Silhouette for our next triple also. Next pack. Two rares, the Corrosive Smoke Signals. That one gives me so much inspiration for Griffogilla. I'm definitely excited. Since it just puts down a Dragon Tree Marker also. And then giving plus 20,000 power to it as well. And we have an Inciting Corruption, Agamana. And a Knight of Brave Advance, Cadigan. So I believe it's another one of the Blitz Order Searchers. Rising Phoenix. And Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion. Awesome. It's definitely an awesome card to pull. Dragonic Kaiser and Blondezel are both pretty awesome vanguards. I'm not going to lie. All right. I am excited to build Roroa, but with all that I'm seeing of him on the actual pack arts, I'm getting a little tired of his art. 
So definitely will be looking forward to seeing Ray Lena when I play the deck more than him. Uh, famed Blazing Demonic Lady Orions for our next triple rare. Haven't pulled any Bang Dream triples yet. And as I say that, I'm probably going to pull one from this pack. Nope, a Bustling Mechanic Rodney. So we pulled the frame version. And now the double rare version. And two rares from this pack. And we have an Obsage Adler for the Obscure Dyed Glitter Deck. Two rares from that one. We have Dragonic Death Scythe as well. Nice. I'll have to see what generics you have to use in both Hazel and Dragonic Kaiser because I'm sure there'll be some cards. Oh, nice. A frame rare Listener of Truth, Dindran. I'm sure there are some cards that you'll just have to uh, play from some of the older sets just because they're like generic Dragonic Empire or generic uh, Keter. Here's another Roroa to go with that beautiful pack you see there. Are they the same? So, no, the pack's a little bigger with the card art there. Next pack. And we have a Boo Press Stinger for the Blitz Searcher again. And an Exaggerate Draco Kid for Dark States Frame Rare. Also, another Frame Rare, a Serious Fight. So I believe, yeah, this is the Dragon Empire searchable one. We have Soul of Oratorio Chaos for the other glitter. So I pulled, I believe, all the gl glitter aside from Eva. And I don't think I pulled the gray on here either. Here's a Mythiarch Meomelium to go with the frame rare copy we just pulled also. I don't think I pulled that triple year yet either from these packs for the Mythiarch deck. But we do have a Magic of Colored Flame, Rare Limb. Nice. And we have Forefront Knight, Tathe Fault for our next grade two. All right, I'm slowly starting to see the play now. Let me see if I can grab some other packs from areas that I've been ignoring scattered across the map. And we have a normal blonde as old this time around. Awesome. So we pulled the double frame rare version and the triple rare version. No complaints there at all. And we have a brilliant gunfire colossus for the chrono jet deck. I want to say chrono jet is what it's for, but you could probably try and mix it around with some of the dark states. Griffel Gala decks since it says Vanguard with a grade four or greater. Here's one of the Bang Dream critical triggers also. You always just pull two rares from the packs that have those. I'm curious if they'll be different for the booster boxes if you don't pull the same ratios. They sometimes tend to change them. We have a Stealth Rogue of Path of Chains, Kagachika. I see some triple rare foiling, and it is a Poison of Paradise Eva, so Poison in Paradise Eva. So we pulled a good majority of the glitter units this time around. I just think we're forgetting Sagrea this time, but we do have a good number of packs left. Here's a Jovial Juggler, and just so I don't miss up anything, I'm going to move around, around some of the wrappers. Packs, there they are. I don't move them at all. That's the agreement when I did this opening. All the packs stay in place until the final pack. 
two rares from this one. Let's see if we got anything cool in this pack. Yep, it is a Listener of Truth, Dindrain. So Dragonic Death Scythe for Dragonic Kaiser Vermilion and Dindrain for the Gold Paladins, it looks like. And we have two orders again, the uh, King of Beasts and the Serious Fight on this pack. And let's see here. Two rares. There's Eternal Thunderbolt, so the Kaiser Vermilion one this time. Looks like we got five packs now that's more easily viewable now. We have Hello Happy World, Kokoro Surumaki for Bang Dream. And Kind Intentions Hunter Matthias for our double rare for Roroa. Three packs left. Let's see if we have anything else left. Nope, we see some triple rare foiling, and it is Hallucinatory Morpho for Stoikea. That might be the last of our triple rares. But we still got two packs left. No telling what we could get. Unless you count the Bang Dream one I just pulled there as a triple rare for that critical trigger. And final pack. Let's see what we end on, if anything. We have Pulsar Dragon, and we end with Stealth Fiend Izazao for the Shoji Doji deck. But all in all, I'm very, very happy with the pulls from these booster packs. Nothing beats when you pull an awesome double frame rare like Blonde Ezel, especially. And I hope you all enjoyed the openings as well. Definitely look forward to deck profiles from the Clash of Heroes booster set, along with the booster box opening when I get my boxes as well. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Qualia out.